In this video, I want to lay out some tips and strategies on how to study smarter when you have ADHD. Everybody probably has to study in their life. And I used to hate it, since I usually wasn't interested in the subject and so couldn't focus. I usually postponed it until the very last day. And then I cramped in a lot of study time with my adrenaline fueled brain, hyper focusing for hours. But I know. I could have done way, way better if I would just have studied smarter and earlier. On top of that, I had a horrible way of learning. I just reread and reread the study book on the chapters that I needed to know. I wish I knew these strategies when I was in school. So that's why I want to share them with you so you might benefit from them. First, identify what distracts you. Getting distracted will keep you from studying effectively. But what distracts you in particular is different from somebody else with ADHD. I study best with instrumental music that tunes out all other noise and an empty desk and a white wall and just the essential things that I need to study. If I need to use my computer, I make sure I have my internet off. And if I need the internet, then I use an extension like Leechblock. I made a video on apps and extensions that can help prevent distraction. So check that out in the description. Second, the hard part of studying for people with ADHD is usually the beginning of studying and then keeping it up for a period of time. One way to significantly increase both is to study with someone else. This way you will be kept accountable, making it much harder for you to say, ah, oh, well, I will do it tomorrow, which of course never comes. Preferably, this person would be a fellow student, but anyone can hold you accountable, like your girl or boyfriend, parents or your best friend. If all that is not an option, you can even get an ADHD coach, as holding you accountable is a big part of their job. 3. 84% of students study by rereading the textbook. The problem is that rereading textbooks is a very ineffective way to study. Research shows that the best way to study is to make a practice test. Try imagining what questions your teachers may put on the exam. Put out old quizzes and see if you can find the most important parts of your notes. And also ask your fellow students what they think is going to be on the exam. And then you make the practice exam. This way you will remember a lot more. And it can be a bit more fun than rereading your textbooks over and over. 4. Research shows that we remember more if we learn something right before sleep. Now I'm not saying to study for an hour right before bed. But going over your notes quickly for a few minutes each night for a week will already help you tremendously. Especially if you already made a practice test for yourself. This way you can review that right before bed. 5. Use your smartphone. Although you need to use it in the right way, your phone is a major distraction. One message and your focus could be lost. That is why we want to use our phones in a different way. I recommend using Brain Focus. This app will disable all notifications and uses the Pomodoro technique. This way you will have a timer of 25 minutes in which you will study. Then you take a break of 5 minutes. And then on to the next section of 25 minutes. A lot of people love the Pomodoro technique and for good reason. I use it myself for making these videos. So try it out and see if it works for you. 6. Dopamine Detox Let's say you can't find the motivation or you are being held back by all kinds of negative habits that prevent you from learning. This could be gaming, Netflix, YouTube, social media, or pretty much anything. This is where a dopamine detox could be extremely beneficial. I made a video on this amazing tool, which you can click on here above, and I will also link it in the description, as going into it here would make this video quite long. 7. Exercise, meditate, diet and sleep. This might sound generic or like common sense, but common sense isn't wrong. I used to look for very novel ways to deal with my ADHD. 
but usually the big things work the best. In my opinion, these four things are the cornerstones of managing ADHD and will significantly increase your focus, hyperactivity, impulsivity and motivation. I already made a video on meditation and sleep and will make a video on the other two shortly. I will link them in the description. Now it is up to you. You're the one who is going to have the study. You can do it the smart way or you can do it by rereading your textbooks over and over. Tell me in the comments which of these techniques you are going to implement. Make the decision for yourself and write it down. Don't let this be wasted information. If you found this video helpful, it would help this channel a lot if you could just like and subscribe. I am planning to make a lot more interesting videos on how to improve your life with ADHD. I hope you have a thoughtful week and I will see you in the next one.